Yat A. Mark Mark Charles in a shia. Sin bake the nan the slim to tohiglini basin chin. Sin bake the nan basin che go to the cheat ni basinella. I want to thank everybody for coming out this morning. And I want to take the few minutes that I have to talk a little bit about history and mythology. One of the challenges we face in this in as indigenous peoples living in colonized nations is that we are not our history is not taught our, our oral history is not taught and our colonizers do not know how to teach their own history let me let me explain this and help you understand this a few years ago i was walking on a monday morning on a day that we celebrate as indigenous people's day in october but our colonizer celebrates columbus day and I was walking by the statue of Christopher Columbus, and there was a group of people there for a ceremony. And I walked up to the front of the crowd before they started speaking, and I said to them something we know, but they were not aware of. I said, you cannot discover lands already inhabited. I wasn't sure if they heard me, so I said a little bit louder. I said, you cannot discover lands that are already inhabited. That's known as stealing conquering, colonizing. The fact that you call it discovery reveals your implicit racial bias, which is that indigenous peoples, people of color, are not fully human. This is one of the challenges, and it's come from what's called the doctrine of discovery. The doctrine of discovery is essentially a series of papal bulls, or edicts of the Catholic Church, written in the 1400s. They essentially are the church in Europe telling the nations of Europe, wherever you go, whatever lands you find not ruled by white European Christian rulers, those people are less than human and their land is yours for the taking. This is literally the doctrine that let, Christopher, that let European nations colonize Africa and enslave the people, as well as let Columbus, who was lost at sea, land in this new world already inhabited by millions and claim to have discovered it. See, they don't know how to teach their history or even use the right language. We need to teach our colonizers their own history. We need to help them understand the oral history of these lands. And as our elder, George Erasmus, from the tribes up north says that where common memory is lacking, where you do not have a unified memory, you cannot have community. If you want to build community, he says, you need to start by creating a common memory. And this is the challenge I want to lay out to all of us. We need to help our colonizers understand the oral history of this land and their own genocidal ethnic cleansing history of this land so that we, a people, all the people, can create a common memory and can have better life, better community, and walk in beauty with one another. I can't help my relatives. Thank you for coming today.